do we really need to record everything in a 10-bit log? Or do we need to buy an external recorder like the Atomos Ninja 5 to film in 10-bit uh, 60 frames per second? Or even the ProRes RAW? I don't think so. And in today's video I want to talk about the picture profile that I use 99% of the time with my Lumix S cameras. The thing is, yeah, you can use all of these settings and options, but everything is gonna slow down your workflow. Even now, for example, I'm filming in a super contrasty situation where the sun is shining over there and here I'm pretty dark. But yeah, I could fix this problem with just a simple light modifier, even a reflector, an assistant. So, uh, I don't think you really need to film everything in uh, log or raw. I'm curious to know if you like this uh, picture profile that I'm using right now. It's uh, straight out from the camera and it's recorded in 8-bit with the white balance set to sunny day. And if you're curious, I'm using the Cine B profile. Why I'm using this over the other profiles? I like this one because the skin tones are a little bit better in my opinion. And they don't look too pinkish or too washed out and the dynamic range is pretty decent I think it's around uh, 11 stops it's a cine gamma I didn't change much settings from this uh, picture profile I just lowered the contrast to minus 5 and that's something really close to the cine D picture profile uh, so why I'm using uh, cine V instead of cine D uh, as picture profile the reason it's pretty simple, um, I like more the colors that are coming out from this picture profile. So working with an 8-bit codec, you don't want to really change too many things in your videos. So having everything perfectly set already in camera is going to give you a huge advantage in post-production. If you are wondering why I'm so serious and sometimes I'm stopping uh, the vlog, it's because uh, I'm filming with the Panasonic Lumix S1 and the 24105 plus a little tripod and microphone and everything that belong to vlog setup and it is uh, pretty damn heavy and sometimes I have to take a little break so um, this picture profile is pretty versatile I can also use it uh, in photography so I don't have to swap picture profile while I do photos and videos so when I shoot in JPEG plus RAW I can just change the settings in post if I'm not happy with the contrast coming out from this uh, picture profile because it's uh, a little bit low contrast and in comparison we have a shot filmed in uh, Cine V that uh, yeah it's a little bit contrasty but not that bad and this is filmed in Vlog that uh, looks uh, way less contrasted than uh, Cine V but uh, it's gonna take some time in post-production to color correct it and adjust the contrast at exposure levels. Also in backlit it doesn't look that bad and as you can see we can have some nice cinematic vlog with some pretty nice uh, flares and uh, so yeah the dynamic range is gonna be lower than the vlog of course so if you don't really have uh, power to control the light around you uh, it's better to film in uh, vlog or hlg but for anything else i think this picture profile looks pretty amazing so when should you use this picture profile i think you should use it when you want to stay lightweight and as fast as possible so you don't want to use a external recorder to film your content in uh, 10 bit 50 or 60 frames per second for everything else i think you can just film in 8 bit with this uh, picture profile that to my eyes it looks uh, pretty good already straight out from the camera if you like the video please show it like the video it will matter a lot for me and share it with your friends if you want and thank you for watching guys i hope i'll see you next time ciao and i forgot to mention a little detail and you can also film in uh, 24 frames per second with uh, the vlog and uh, 50 frames or 60 frames per second in uh, cine v but then uh, you're gonna have a little bit of headache doing the color grading in post-production so i think it's uh, always better to film everything just in cine v or everything in the vlog unless you have a color checker you can make your own lat uh, i would avoid that mm -hmm.